Okay, so let's check out the following game then. Okay, so you're a diplomat for... Oh yeah, we read all of this before, right? You've been called to the Zardo Embassy, but we need to take our ship to get there. It's crucial to make it there, otherwise us not being there could spell war. There we go, we got some music as well. It's good music. Let's just turn it down a little bit, it's a little bit loud. A little bit loud. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. I should start the ship at navigation. Okay, so we've got a uh, E to interact. Okay, this is the pamphlet. Ooh, the font's a bit funny, but it could have been because I started it on a smaller screen and it's gone to a bigger one. So now that you're familiar with the history of this beautiful vessel, let's go for the various uh, appliances on the ship. Starting from the left, over there is your resting quarters, the single bed. Sleeping here will restore your hard, any hard-working space captain's energies. Okay. Continuing on, uh, the miniature kitchen is a cute as, uh, as cute as it is functional. Cook up nutritious meals easy as pie and then use the accessible dishwashers to wipe off your complimentary shorts and pants. Okay. Nice. So this is our kitchen. This is our bed. I like how the, the places uh, fade in and out. This is our main area. This is O2. We should start our ship. Okay. So E. Uh, hang on. Control. Per cr I'm trying to... Wow, okay, I pressed E. One hour remaining. Okay, good, good, good. There we go. So, our O2 is there. We can go up. Let's see what's up here. Okay, this is our power area. Everything seemed good up here. Okay, look at our little brain hanging out of our head. How adorable. Okay, we've got some bars on the left. Oh, what's happening in the O2 section? Do I need to fix this? Oh, no, I breathe. Oh, no, no, I don't know. I'm holding E. Is that going to be fixing it? Okay, I think I fixed it. Okay, good, good, good. Let's go and have a little look downstairs then, shall we? Oh my words, what's happening down here? Uh, okay, so there's fires, that's me. Look at that animation, that's amazing. I gotta put out the fires. Okay, that's good. Let's go back up. My, uh, my, how's my energy going? Because it did say I should sleep sometime. I think everything, okay, so we can cook some food here. Oh, is that our food? Less than 30 minutes remaining. Okay, cool. So I think, oh, that's us eating, right? What about the dishwasher it mentioned? I'm not sure how I can... All I can do is, like, prep the food. Yeah, I don't think I can do more than that. So we've got our bed that we could sleep in. I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. Was there, there was nothing else on this, was there? It's not like scroll box. No, okay, I think... It feels like there should be more pages to that. Ugh, I smell like poop. Oh. Am I not meant to wash? Alright, new day. Uh, let's get started. Two hours remaining on this flight. Oh gosh, it looks like we got some... Chop going. Oh, look at the little animation. I get my little welding mask on. Okay, so the two bars at the bottom is air and food, I think. So do we have to go into this to get air? Or maybe it's water. Oh, cracky. This is broke. Oh, I used my laser eyes. What is this? <laughs> Fancy. Okay. So I can chop that to get some food. I don't know. Is this sleep? Oh, okay. It's sleep. Okay. Okay. That's fine. All right. So, yeah, there's nothing more here. Oh, the ears broke. So we just got to manage our ship. It has a slight element of... Um, what do you call it, right? Among us little tasks. Oh, the front of the ship, we need to laser eye it again. I like how the brain jiggles. Indeed, I like how Boro jiggles. Okay, so everything's fine up here. What about down below? Uh-oh, fire. Put them out. Look at the eyes. <laughs> Come on, put the fire out. Okay, oh. I tried pressing down to go further. I think I might have bugged that out a bit. Okay, so let's uh, sleep a bit. Oh, there's another fire upstairs. I think we should probably deal with that before. Uh, let's have a little bit of a snack before we go. Why not? All right, good. We're full. Oh, the O2 as well. Let's get our welding mask on. Oh, it looks like we're fixing the ladder. But hey, maybe the ladder needed fixing too. Shh. 
Okay, that is sorted. Let's use that. Oh, it's on fire again. <gasps> what? Why did it cry? <laughs> Why did it disappear? Did I lose? Or maybe that was the end of the game. <laughs> That's a bit of a shame. I don't know if I made it or not. It crashed because everything was on fire. Well, we're going to give it one more go. It looked like my health was good, but maybe we, maybe it was the end of the game. Okay. All right. I don't know what that slider is. Let's just play. Okay. Uh, is there any issues? O2 is down and there's a fire. Better eat first. <laughs> Oh yeah, we need to start the ship. I forgot about that. Okay, we've started. It's banging tunes though, right? Okay, O2, let's get it. Yes, it's hard for me to know like, how long can you leave things in a bad state. That's uh, that's something that's not communicated to the player. Oh, look at that. See, I can kind of leave this room. Trippy. Okay, everything's fine over here. We're going to have a bit of a sleep here, right? Okay, that's done. I have a bit of an eat. This got us into trouble last time. Check on the rooms. No fires, no need for magic eye lasers. It's all good down here. Oh no, we need to fix these wires, don't we? Crikey. There we go, look at this. Look at this. Okay, everything good? Everything health? Oh no, come on, put it out, put it out. Uh -oh, I'm getting very tired. We've got to fix this and then get a nap in. Power nap. Come on, come on, come on. Quick. I don't know what happens if we don't nap. But we're getting our nap in. Alright, that'll be enough. I'm concerned about other areas right now. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Okay, we can get a little bit more. Let's get a bit of a snack. Okay. Oh, it says I smell like poop even if I was careful. Alright, that's fine. Let's go and start the, the, the day. Two hours remaining this time. We've got to last a bit longer. That's looking fine. That's looking okay. Let's get ourselves a little bit of a nap. That's fine. Let's get a little bit of noms. That's fine. Okay, fix the O2. Let's do this. Okay, that's done. I laser beam time. Okay, that is sorted. Oh, we got a fire. Uh, wires up top sparking. Let's fix these. Okay, we're getting quite tired, but we need to be aware of any other issues. We've got fire. We have all the things going wrong. There is no bathroom. That's a very good point. Maybe my robe used to be white. But unfortunate things have happened. Okay, we need to go nap after this. Quick, quick, quick. Nap, 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 nap. Okay, we're getting enough. We're getting enough. Okay, that's probably enough. Eat a little bit. That's enough. Okay, go put out the fire. Is there any down here? There is. We'll do that first, and then we'll go to the wires. Okay, up we go. Up we go. Put these out. Oh, crikey. It's gone really dark. Oh, man. There's more things wrong. We need a tiny little nap. Just enough energy to put out the... The O2 issue. Oh, everything's wrong. Okay, so it seems that if you fail, not only does your spaceship fail, but the, X, the EXE fails as well. So I think that's the lose condition. I felt I was doing pretty well, if I'm honest with you. Uh, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to get our dear diplomat over to the planet to, to dip, be diplomat to, Make sure all the people don't fight. So war is going to ensue now. And it's all because I couldn't keep the ship running. Uh, but I felt I, I did what I could. Um, maybe it needed a bit of balance there to make it something that I could actually complete. But still, it, it was a cool entry, though. Uh, the music was a bop. I like that. The little animations are cute as well. I quite enjoyed 
doing the different activities because the uh, the animations made it more interesting. I was doing the same thing. I was pressing the same button, holding it. If there was no animations, it would have been a bit boring. But the animations gave it that little bit extra, especially for a jam game. It makes a bit of a difference, I think. So cool. All right, let's give it a bit of feedback on this. Hello, the Kelty as well. Nice to see you. Uh, so let's go into here. So in terms of pacifist, there was a bit of death involved, but it's not really violence, right? I think we're kind of in the right path. I'll, I'll go for four there. Uh, the fun side of it, there was a bit of story behind it. There was a bit of uh, kind of management, but because it seemed like first level you can't lose, second level you always lose, it felt a bit challenging for me to, to like grade the fun there. So I'm going to probably go middle of the road for that. Originality is going to be based more on the story. You know, they set up quite a fun situation and the idea of maintaining your ship while you get there. There's been some done before as well, like that, but the fact they came up with the whole story for it, uh, I respect that. The visuals are cool. I like the art. Um, the animations are good. Uh, effort went into it. Like the whole user manual and stuff like that that they did. I thought there was some good effort went into it. So with the audio, they didn't make any of the music. So as much as it's a bop, we just put it halfway. Like the story uh, and the animations of repairing the various uh, ship parts uh, were great. Uh, the premise was good, but I think uh, on both attempts, I think I failed on day two as the game would just close itself. Um, I did try uh, hard on my second turn, but maybe uh, the game needs a little more balancing uh, to make it uh, less difficult to complete the second day. Uh, lots of charm and attention to detail uh, made this an enjoyable entry to play. Uh, thanks for taking part. Uh, you enjoyed the theme and the pace of the jam. Uh, glad you got back to game dev after several years of taking a break. That sounds lovely. I'm really glad you got involved. Um, yeah, you had issues with uh, how you're using Godot, if I remember correctly. And I'm glad you put a, a little push in at the end to get it playable. Okay, so uh, let's check out this entry then. So it's called, it's too hot to fight, have a lolly. What a great message. <laughs> okay, so, um, deliver, uh, deliver ice creams to slimes on a hot summer's day. As uh, the day progresses, the world gets hotter and everyone will be slower. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, there's a disclaimer here as well. Should be able to full screen it maybe. We uh, need to do it once we're in game. We'll zoom in if not. It's developed for the jam. It's an unfinished introduction level. Okay, that's all good. Something to show. Yeah, all good, all good. All right, let's just uh, zoom in. Get off your edge. Get out of here. Okay, so how to play. This at the top is a bit annoying, isn't it? Um, this is you. You can move around using WASD. Okay, cool. This is the ice cream stand. Uh, when near it, you can press space about to pick up a lolly. This is a slime. If you give it a lolly or an ice cream, it will try to get home. Okay. So the pathfinding is broken. No problem. Your stamina lowers when you move and comes back up when you rest. Your stamina is less than 50%. You can regenerate it by eating a lolly. It'll be consumed. You won't be able to move while eating, but you'll regain. Okay. Temperature slides is basically the timer. is meant to do more, but in this version of the game, it's just when it reaches the full, the game will end. Okay, cool. That sounds fine. Your inventory, you can change your active slot by using the scroll wheel. Okay. Lovely. So we can go press space to get a lolly from the cart. Cool. The movement's nice. It kind of slows down a bit as you go and you ramp up speed. Oh, oh look at this. It shows this <laughs> the state that you got. OK, so this one's hot. So we can give them a lolly. OK, we, uh, we can go and get another lolly then. So I can press it to use it myself, can I? Uh, how do I use it on my own? OK, I don't know. I just I bought a bunch of lollies here. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to go down to this one. 
give them a lolly. Well, they can't be sad, can they? I've just given them a lolly. Right, you can have a lolly. What about you? You're, you're a hot one up here. Uh-oh, did I give you a... Oh, I need to change. You can have an ice cream. Yeah, I need to change the inventory slot, don't I? Okay, you can have that. I've got just an ice cube for, for you down here. Let's give you an ice cube. Come on, take it, take it. Okay, yeah, you can just have that ice cube thing. We need to go back to the ice cream truck. Stock up. Anyone over here need some? Nice. Can I just eat my own one then? No, it, let's just uh, pass these out quickly. You can have the... Ah! Oh, my final score was seven. So if my stamina is under 50, then I can eat it. Ah, uh, maybe that's why it wasn't letting me do it. That's okay. All right, let's, uh, let's have another go at that then, I'd say. Uh, can I restart? Uh, let's just refresh the page, I guess. That's cool. I'm really glad you submitted something still. The concept today, I like, you can see, I love how you got like a state machine for the different creatures as well. Uh, okay, so we'll give you ice cream. No, come back. Oh my gosh. I've got to change the slot first. I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, and again, have an ice cream. And you, okay, there's another one far up there as well, but we'll, we'll run by. Okay, you can have one. We'll, we'll do a drive-by ice cream pickup. Uh, uh -oh. oh, my stamina. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. I'm running around too much. Uh, let's give you an ice block. Let's give you an ice cream. Okay, good. We're going to stock up again and we're going to go up to some ones up here we haven't given an ice cream to. So you can have that. Okay, you can have this. Uh oh, let's change. There you go, ice cream for you. Okay, and you can have that. And you can have this ice one. Nice. Okay, we're almost out of time. We need to be quick here. Ah! Okay, we've beaten the score though. We got uh, six more than last time. We're going to go one more time and see if we can beat that score. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, so stock up. Okay, you get an ice cream. Uh, change ready to pass to him. You get an ice cream on the ice lolly. You get one. And a block of ice, you get one. Okay, back we go. Let's uh, replenish our stamina and go over here. Okay, so you get one. Whack that up. I'm going to run up to here. You get one. You get one. We're almost out of stamina, so we need to take a rest just in a moment. Okay, good. We can rest up while standing next to them. There you go. They enjoyed that, I hope. Okay, we're back to get some more ice cream stock up on them. Oh, I think I ate one. Yeah, yeah, I did because I was below. That's fine. Uh, give you one of those. Give you one of those. We need to get back there and stock up again. Okay, here we go. These are these are in a good position for me. They actually go in and out of the building as well. It's fancy. Okay, so I'm probably in a better position. If I want to go for high score, I should just keep feeding these ones, really. So it'd be good if there's a mechanic to prevent me doing that, I guess. Like, you can't just keep feeding them the same one if they've already got one. Pow! We got a new high score again. 18. So we've got 11 more than our first attempt. I am getting professional at this game. But uh, yeah, I think we've got an idea of how the game plays. Uh, I remember uh, popping to no, uh, no Gender Gamer's stream and seeing um, them working on that sprite. It looks great in um, in game and you should be happy with the, the state machine and state transitions and that. It looks really cool. So hopefully you enjoyed getting back into the game development. Uh, let's write you some feedback. So in terms of the pacifist thing, I like how you put uh, a lot of effort into uh, thinking of the ways to resolve uh, things rather than fighting. I know you didn't get to fully implement that, but uh, yours was still very uh, uh, on point with the theme regardless. The fun element of it, the fact I played it three times and I got better each time of it, it did help with it. Um, there, there, there would be maybe some kind of tweaks needed maybe to, such as like, will they melt completely after a certain amount of time? Uh, just to help me prioritize who I should go and take one to. Or maybe that certain creatures like certain ice cream, so you had to go through and, you know, if you had red, yellow, yellow, uh, blue, 
cut like ice creams that you needed to and you could only hand them out in a certain order that would gamify it a bit more you need to choose your targets in order and choose optimal routes uh, that would go past certain creatures who had those requirements so it could be an improved a bit in that element of it um so you're just saying in chat i do wish i had Oh, you're sorry, yeah, they're meant to disappear once they go home, but it doesn't work. Ah, okay, okay. I do wish I had time to add more levels and polish things a bit, but glad to talk about it. Hey, no problem, no problem. I'm glad you talk about it too. Uh, from a concept point of view, it's quite an original idea. Um, I've, not, I've not played something about it before. You are essentially taking one item to another, but it was guised enough uh, with the story and the premise that it made it feel like it was an original experience anyway. Uh, so a lot of you're saying some of the assets you weren't able to do, so... Uh, what you did do was good. I really like the animation you did uh, for the for the monsters too. They were cool. So uh, I would take it higher, but as there's a lot of other assets used as well, I'll, I'll leave it there in the middle. And because there's no audio, I can't really give you any rating for that. So I'll just chuck it down there. Oh, uh, let's just give some feedback. Uh, I'm really glad you still chose uh, to submit your game. As I know, uh, the challenges you faced uh, made you want to give up <laughs> want to give up at one point uh, the animation and the states uh, the monsters uh, were cool to see and I enjoyed uh, playing uh, a few times trying to improve trying to improve my score. I think the uh, ability to eat ice cream if under 50% did mean that you could probably strategize and have uh, and uh, minimize downtime uh, by skipping the need to stand still and recover. Uh, that balance makes the game interesting as it means you're adding a skill uh, I guess a, a rain hmm. as it means uh, players can get better at the game over time the more they practice Uh, thanks for taking part. Jump. And let's post that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, the next game that we're going to be playing then uh, is a game called Run and Bolt, and it was by uh, Nathaniel Medjia. So let's check this one out. Game made in Unity. Okay. Wow, look at this. Nice 3D model in that. I'm liking the textures and the grain effect. Okay, so I'm guessing the movement's nice. Uh, I'm guessing we run around and we get the... We need to pick up the bolts. Oh my god, this actual text they've put on each key here. That's effort. I appreciate that. Okay, so we... Oh, wow, you run fast after a while. Look at that. I guess that makes sense, the run and the bolt element of it. Can we go up there? Huh? <gasps> you can. Oh, that's pretty cool. Really nice 3D platforming. So can I push a ball around? <gasps> What's that? We found a little secret thing. Yeah, we, f we found the special cog. I like how the world is... Are we like made out of paper clips or something? I'm just wondering why we're tiny. Okay, we'll pick up that. Um, let's go up this ramp this time. Oh wow, we went a bit too far. We can jump as well, we should remember that. Okay, so we can collect all of these. But I don't know if we can get much higher. Oh, there's a computer over there. How are we gonna get up into there? Can I just run up it? No. So I need to figure out a way to get back up high. I'm not too sure how we're going to do that. Because I can go up here, but then... Oh, what about over there? That looks like you might be able to. Uh, 
I don't know if we can get up there though. Oh, okay, I ran up there. Let's just go back and forth here. So maybe we'll get the momentum going. Oh, wow, you get the momentum. You can f absolutely fly. Look at this. Oh, is the game buffering? I didn't even notice. The game is not treating your PC so well. Uh, it, it looks like it's running fine for me. Is it running chankily or? Oh, crikey. Yeah, looking at OBS, it looks like it's going okay as well. Maybe it's just, oh no. Yeah, it looks fine, I think, uh, Brainoid. All oh, right, I am not sure. So this is the only bit I have a bit of a quarrel with is, I'm not sure how you're meant to get back up. I think I kind of glitched up. Maybe you meant to like run over and jump. Hmm. Can you walk, uh, is there wall jumping? I don't think there is. Hmm. I managed to just like lock my way up here by just jumping continually. Yeah, like that. But I don't think you're kind of meant to do that, really. But, okay, well, let's go on the door frame this time. Uh, it could be to do with the kind of grain effects. You've got a point there. Okay, so we got that. I don't know if we can make that jump. I love the room layout, though. There's so many little areas to explore. Okay, let's go back this way. Up we go. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, so with oh cranky, yeah, a bit of camera collision would be nice maybe. So we got some shelves down there we could go to, but we're gonna uh, not do that yet. Uh, we need to go a little bit higher. So this way over here had a way up. Oh wow, that's a little secret down here. It does the, like the level design's cool. I do feel like I, I, I want to explore the places and I want to collect the, 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 oh my gosh, Dan, stop panicking. I want to collect the things, you know? Okay, where am I dropping down? Probably onto this. Pow. Okay, uh, we can maybe make that jump. Yeah, we made it, we made it. Okay, uh, next the computer desk, I think. Oh, I think we've been up here. This is where we started, isn't it? Okay, so there's some on the desk behind. We can probably drop down there. That's what I mean about clever design. I feel like you're kind of incentivized to explore, see things and then can figure out how can I get there. Can we push this off? Damn it. Okay, let's, let's try and get these last few then. There's one by here lurking. Oh, no, there's not. It's just the way the light is on that mug. We get these. Okay, and then the final ones. Oh, we got the top of the computer monitor we missed. Does that pen move? Oh, it does. Look at that. Can we jump on it and then jump on the mug? Yes. <laughs> I'd like to get onto the computer top, but we can't. But we, we can do this at least. So let's go over here. Fall off here. There we go. Look at that. Is that just the switch of the computer it is, isn't it? Lovely. Okay, cool. So, uh-oh. What happened? What? Oh, I can now fly? I don't understand why. But the gravity doesn't... I don't know. <laughs> when I press space, I fly up now. Is it... Can I go down? <laughs> I don't know if I broke it. But if I, I can just jump <laughs> high now, I'm just flying. Oh, look how many things I missed. Oh, there we go. It's come back. Yeah, I broke the physics. Somehow that my physics state was broke. I should have made the most of it more, shouldn't I? No. Yeah, I tried control for like crouching that to go down, but it didn't, didn't do it for me. Oh. Uh, so we've got a couple of things over here. We've got that one little step over here we're going to try and get to. Can we fall off this side? No, it seems blocked off, doesn't it? Okay, so can we jump? 
Oh my gosh, me looking in the wall is pain of me. I don't know how we're going to get over there. Here's like the stairs to get up, but it's quite a big old jump, isn't it? Maybe there is a hole in the corner. Hmm. Surprises me because the rest of it has been quite purposeful in that regard. Well, we'll go here. We, yeah, we need to somehow get up there. Not too sure how that's going to happen. No, nope, we can't even wall jump up. Oh, no. Ah, blast it. All right, cool. Well, I think we've done as well as we could do. I, I managed to accidentally fly, which was enjoyable. Uh, and it's, yeah, really cool uh, design to the level. I don't... I wonder if there's anything you can do with the ball. That would be a fun little Easter egg, but I feel at the moment I probably can't. But yeah, that is really... Like, a really smooth 3D controls. There's obviously... Obviously a bit of polish you could do with the uh, with the camera control and that it kind of glitches through walls and that sometimes, but otherwise it's, it's really nice. It feels good when you get going fast as well. Like if I let go of it and then I go, it takes a while to ramp up, but then once you get going, pow, and the animation suits it. The only downside I'd say with it is you can keep, as long as you're holding the button, it doesn't matter if you're not actually moving, you go full speed still. That could probably be uh, changed a bit moving forward. This feels like your lava level. Is it really that bad? Like my, OB it must be how it's been encoded and sent. Because like to me, it looks smooth on both OBS and my screen. So, but anyway, I think we've had a good check out of the game anyway. Anyway, anyway. So let's go ahead and give a bit of feedback on this. It was pretty cool. So and since pacifist, I mean, yeah, I mean, you were just collecting things. It's a little bolt, dude, which is cool. Um, I had a bit of fun with it. it. The objective was pretty much collect stuff. There was no kind of danger but it did have a sense of kind of like explore uh, which was nice um so yeah because the controls were fun and it's quite fun to run around at speed the fun was uh, higher than average for me the originality i guess that would probably suffer a little bit it's a bit more of a collecting one but it's really good like level design for it what about the art they did all the art as well i think they did really good on the art in fairness to them the audio there's none so we can't really rate that so let's save that rating and give a bit of feedback Really nice um, 3D uh, controller. Uh, I love the build up of speed and how good it felt to run around the environment at max speed. Uh, props to your level design skills. I found uh, it genuinely uh, interesting uh, to navigate. Uh, and uh, you did a good job at rewarding and incentivizing players to explore certain uh, explore area uh, explore the different parts of the map. Um, I did come across one bug, which was. Uh, I've got stuck in a state where I was flying and if I pressed jump I would just float upwards. I managed uh, to break myself out of it by uh, finding somewhere to run on as that new grounded check seemed to break me. Uh, kick the physics state machine or the movement state machine back into the right place. Thanks uh, for taking part in the game jam. Enjoy checking out. Run a bolt. Cool, 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 cool. Alrighty. So we've gone ahead and done that. Yeah, oh, Maple Pucky's left some nice reviews on you. Lovely, that's nice to see. But we're back now. We're going to check out who wants to get fixed. Uh, this game was made for the Pacifist Jam and it was created 
Uh, let me just get the name again, sorry. Who was it? It was Julia. Okay, cool. So let's check this out. Place in browser, which we're a fan of. Thank you kindly. Uh, so there's a bit of information here. So activate full, uh, full screen mode to play. Uh, their lives depend on you. Stores are running out of parts and lifeguard mechanics have, uh, have moved out of town with no way to work. Good thing your family makes parts, isn't it? Attend the robot's request by grabbing the tools in your workshop and fixing the robots as fast as you can. Watch out for not being late or giving them the wrong treatment because it's a delicate life or death situation. Okay. So they come up to you with requirements and you need to get, uh, fix them up with your parts. Well, a good thing is, Brain, that you could, I can try and use it with your documentation and that'll give you an idea of how good it is. Okay, so there's a couple of screenshots here. Use the full screen thing. It looks like it's going to tell us how to play when we go in. So let's get started. Let's hit full screen and let's give this a go. Oh, nice music as well. Hey, how you doing, Lol? Lovely to see you. Anyone who doesn't know, Lol is someone we met long ago on Twitch uh, as they were doing a bit of game dev at the time and they now do emotes on Twitch if you ever need any, feel free to check them out. And they're starting up streaming a bit of Valorant and some gaming as well. Good to see you. Okay, so uh, the game is called Who Wants to Get Fixed? And you're the only lifeguard mechanic left in this world. You must fix all the robots. Their lives depend on it, so do our best. Let's look at the how to play. This will give us a bit of instructions now. So pay attention to their needs. It's going to be one of these icons, I guess. Go to the workshop, search for the items that they need. Click only the requested items. Click on the trash to reset your counter. Go back to the harm reduction area. Click uh, it in the robot request to fix it you will lose points for wrong items the robots will go away if you take too long look how sad the face is how sad the face is or i can write i don't mind writing your documentation but you'll have to give me a cut brainoid i'll take a, a cut a documentation cut of your profits all right um so let's give this a go all right there we are so they need Spanner and chisel. Okay, workshop. Oh wow. Okay, spanner and chisel. Where is a? Is that a wrench or a spanner? I forgot. Okay. Uh, what does the chisel look like? Was it this? Okay, let's go back to harm reduction. No, I got the wrong stuff. Okay, gold hammer. No, gold spanner and hammer. Let's go. Uh, no, gold. Oh, no, was it one? No, it's one of those and a hammer. Okay, go go go. Look after those. Okay, one of them was right, not both. Uh, it looks like a, a flask with a, a, a white, a red-handled screwdriver. Flask thing. Oh, there, there, and a red-handled screwdriver. You. Okay, come back. I'm liking this. This is good. Yellow screwdriver and a ballpoint hammer. You. Where's the ballpoint hammer? Uh, is it this one? Oh, they're gone. I ran out of time anyway. Oh, we need to go back and... Okay, as a clamp... And a golden screw thing. There's one and a, that that was it? Yeah, okay. Oh no, we messed up again. Okay, a clamp and a golden cog. Cog, I said, behave yourselves. Where's the cog? Okay, we'll just go back and give them a little bit. Oh, no, hang on, there might be one that shows up. I can't see one. Okay, we're just gonna have to feed him one of them. Okay, we need a, a, a hacked, whatever they're called. Saw and a saw. Two handed saw and a red handled saw. Red handled saw there. Two handled saw, where are you? There. That, that was this. Go, 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 go. Okay, same, but a measuring clamp thing with it this time. Uh, that. No, I got a different coloured one. Okay, orange measuring clamp, yellow hammer, a uh, yellow screwdriver, yellow screwdriver, orange measuring clamp. Is that it? No. This. Oh, we've got to start again. It's, uh, yellow. Uh, orange measuring thing. Ah, oh, it's so stressful. Okay, so the, uh, anyone who's just joined us, this is a game made for uh, Pacifist Jam, which was the fourth game jam that I've hosted. The aim was to make games that uh, avoid violence as a core mechanic. Um, so, yeah, this is one of the entries. We'll be trying to get a better high score in that. That was cool, though. I really felt um, the pressure immediately. The, the, them going past on the conveyor belt and the fact that so many things look similar but slightly different, like two different types of hammer, it's really cool. I think it's good. Uh, it's a clever idea, so let's give this a go. Can we get more than 40 and save more than six robots? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, measure the grey spanner. 
Let's go for the little centers. Measure the gray spanner. Where are you, gray spanner? Oh my gosh, where are uh, these all have? No. Is it pure gray? Now I'm having doubts. Yeah, it is pure gray. And then there's a blue and a hat. Gray spanner. That's the only thing I. Okay, there, 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 there. Got it. Go, 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 go. Okay, so uh, blue handle, spanner, and a long saw. Long saw, blue handled spanner. Come on, where are you? Blue handled spanner. I can't see one. We're gonna run out of time. There, 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 there. Go, 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 go. Oh, we just missed. Oh, I think it's still counted. Okay, gold, spanner, and a, a saw thing. Oh, one of these. Gold, go quick. Oh, damn it. Okay. Gray spanner, red handle, screwdriver. Uh, okay, screwdriver's there. Just a gray spanner. You, go. No, it's a, I, I made a mistake. What was it even, they even needed? A chisel. We don't have one. Oh my gosh. So many robots are dying. We did not do better. Spanner. <laughs> All right. We got this. If you want to try and uh, play along as well, it's in browser. Let me know if you get a better score. Uh, if you do want to. All right, let's go again. Okay, measuring blue clamp. Measuring. You're at a bit of mercy of how, like, the RNG of this. Blue clamp. The. Okay. Double hand saw, gold spanner. Double hand saw, gold spanner. Let's take the gold spanner. Double hand saw next. Where are you? Is that, is that it? I think it is. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so a chisel or paintbrush, a chisel, gold spanner. A gold spanner is the chisel. Chisel. Chisel my nizzle. Grizzle. There. Okay, good. Uh, chisel, a red handled saw. Red handled saw. Give my chis. Where are you? Where are you? Oh my, my eyes. I think we've lost it. Yeah. Uh, what have we got? A red saw. We don't need a red saw now. What else do we need? Oh, we're going to lose that as well. Okay, let's go ballpoint hammer and saw. We need two of them. Then. Okay, go. And another. Oh, no, we went for the. Uh, what's the other thing? Was it uh, a double saw? Oh, no, 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 no. Is it that? Oh. I have not. I have not gotten better. This is disappointing. I will get better though. Okay, blue grip, red handled screwdriver. That, give me a screwdriver. Yeah, I feel we're just it's a bit too much RNG. I feel like there should be more logic in there to make sure that it spawns within a reasonable time. Okay, gold and blue handled. Gold, blue handled span. There, does that count? Yes, go. Okay, uh, ballpoint hammer, red file thing? Okay, that. I think it was that one. Okay, ballpoint hammer, gold spanner. Not that one, that one. And gold spanner. Okay, this is the ballpoint hammer and this, like plier things? That one. Right, plier scissory things. We haven't seen those before. Where are they? Do we even have time? We do have time. There, there, there. Okay, click it. Go, go, go. Okay, uh, red saw, red spanner. Uh, I got that. There, there, there. Go, go, go. Much better. Okay, uh, red file, orange file. Red file. Not orange file. Oh, there, there, there. Oh, I just got it. Sneaky beaver. It was off the screen. Okay, uh, brown chisel, gold screwdriver, one sided. Brown chisel. I think they're all brown. Nice, okay. Uh, Two-handed saw, orange clamp. Two-handed saw, orange clamp. Ha, ah, we're having it this time. Okay, uh, red file thing and two-handed saw. Red file thing, two-handed saw. Okay, uh, screwdrivers, red, blue, yellow. Uh, red. Come on, screwdrivers. Blue and yellow, we need blue and yellow screwdrivers. Where are you? 
We're going red again. That's not good enough. Blue. Where's the yellow one? There. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, just in time. Okay, uh, we might skip this one. We'll go for gold cog and uh, scissor things. Gold cog. Where's our scissor things? There, there, there. Okay, go. Okay, we're going to go for ballpoint hammer and blue handled spanner. Nice. Squeezy lemons. A blue hammer, yellow, orange clamp. No, blue screwdriver. No, it wasn't even a screwdriver. It's blue one of those. Uh, clamp? Was it one of those? No, it wasn't. Damn it. Uh, okay, we'll go for the easier one. Hammer. We're looking for a hammer. Without the ballpoint. Oh, no. This one. Go, 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 go. Okay. What the? Look how much this is going up. Okay, hammer, saw with red handle. Hammer. Is it this saw, though? I hope so. Uh, and then spiky blade and uh, purple. This. Go, 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 go. Quick. Okay. Uh, pointed hammer, blue grip, yellow. Uh, pointed hammer and uh, yellow. This. Go, go, go. Okay. Orange grip, red file thing. Orange grip, red file thing. Just, okay. Blue grip measure, yellow handle, and one of those as well, if I remember. Blue grip. Is it a blue grip? What else was in there? Measuring thing. We got one of the measuring things. Blue grip. Uh, measuring thing, measuring thing, measuring thing. Da! Okay. Okay, we did a lot better, at least this time. It's good, though. I like it. I think the, the main trouble is the sometimes it feels too rng while you're waiting for it to rotate but i did significantly better i'm going to keep this page up so i can make sure i can tell them how good i did because i'm proud of my efforts let's go back and write some feedback on this this was fun the pacifist theme was great uh the fun of it i had a good time because of the challenge the originality from my perspective uh, i think you know, supplying orders as people come up, you have that in like some cooking games and that. But the way that the food was flying around, or not the food, sorry, the um, the different parts that you had to fix is like a memory game mixed with some movement things. You could have different conveyor belts on different levels and that, which would be interesting. You could make a more complex production line. That could be fun. Uh, what did they do with the visuals? How much of the sound did you make? How much of the art did you make? Some of them... Uh, we worked at nights every day because they had to work hard on other things, but we had so much fun. Lovely! All right, I think the assets all went quite well together, but they said some of them were made of their own. I think they did a good effort there. There's so there's a, a range of assets, lots of these different robots, all their menus and that tied together well as well. The audio they didn't really make, they said, so let, we'll just put uh, middle of the road there. Um, okay, cool. Uh, let's give some feedback blast on this uh, the main challenge uh, uh, feedback uh, for improvement would be to make sure that the items that are needed show up in the workshop within a reasonable duration it felt a little RNG which meant sometimes it was easy and other times it felt a little impossible almost impossible with that said I had blessed tried the game multiple times and loved the memory aspect of it and uh, having to remember key bits of detail like the screwdrivers look the same other than the handle color or the different varieties of hammers for example uh, was a fun challenge uh, my best score in the end was 170 and I saved 17 precious robots. Uh, uh, glad to hear you had a good time making the game. Thanks for getting involved.
Amazing. Cool. Okay, it started on the middle screen. Let's check it out. Good wood by Eagle. Eagle's Honey. Such a smiley face. This is the biggest game they've made as well, so it looks like they're an aspiring growing game developer as well. Ooh, listen to those birdie noises. Sounds like I'm in my game. Okay, nice. Can I go back to the main main? Oh, okay. Hi! <laughs> Can you help me build a house? You need to punch some trees and in the end I will- Oh no, I missed it. My home will be great. Let's go for wood. Okay, score is zero. Health is three, level one. A and D. Or I can click. Uh, okay, so I move left or right and then I punch. Okay. Oh, this is a fun little mechanic. I like this. Okay. Hey. It seems just a little bit of lag between. Okay, I think we did it. Good job. You collected some wood. I'm glad to hear. Next level. I like that you punch, but not for violence. Yeah, you you punch to make make uh make a house. Uh, oh, hi! Is it the same thing again? Now I have several blocks. It's great! Now I can imagine my home will be how my home will be looking. But I need more blocks. They don't look sad. I think we're gonna have to... Can you get more... Uh, get me some more wood? Yes, of course we can. Oh, no. Oh, I took damage on that. No, I, see, if you click and then press move, it doesn't do it. So I think you got to wait for the animation. Or sometimes you can press it. You, yeah, there's a little bit of a learning curve between... you got to wait for the animation to finish, then you can move, I think. It's a bit of skill, we'll call it. Oh, look how happy the sun is. That animation at the end is a little fun. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wow. We've got more wood. The sun's having a real good time. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's something about the controls are a little unresponsive, but it's okay. I don't know if it's like stuck in an animation and then so it doesn't let any more happen. The creepy sun from <laughs> Teletubby, something like that. That has the jack punched, yes. That's the one. I've not played Lumberjack board game to know Top Top Woodman. Yeah! No! Get the... Oh gosh, I took a lot of damage. we got to be careful. Okay, we made it. Thank goodness. Next level. Uh-oh. More story. Hi, great job. He's got a beard now. You almost collected all wood. Oh, uh, why am I like this? I'm a very unusual man. When I'm getting happier, then I'm getting older. What a weird plot twist. You won't see me for a while, but don't worry. We'll meet in the end. Goodbye. <laughs> this is a unique level. Oh, nice. Different game mechanic. No! We can do better. Okay, space is... You can also punch with space. Maybe that'll be more responsive for me. Punching, punching like there's no tomorrow. Look at that. Pow. A little animation on the character's cute. Oh look, he's got he's got a moustache now. How are you doing? I'm fine. I didn't ask. Next time you see a house. You need to punch one more time. See you next time. <laughs> okay. This is a unique level two. 
Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, take your time. Punch, then move. Punch, then move. Punch, then move. Ooh. No, I tried. I pressed move. Ooh. Oh, that was a bit ash. <laughs> yeah, there's slightly weird physics on these pushing their cells down somewhat, right? Ooh. I. That, yeah, something stops you from moving. It's a little bit of a shame. Ooh. Because it feels inconsistent between... Uh-oh, where is it? <coughs> like... <coughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna... We, I wanna see the ending. We've gotta keep going. At least we don't have to start from the start each time. <coughs> What hurt me that time? I call slow. Your absolute delight. How good to have you here. Give me just a minute to finish punching trees to make a house. There's a story coming, a crescendo. Good job. You collected some wood. Ending. Here we go. Oh my gosh, look at that wonderful wood house. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Do you like this house? I love it. <laughs> Thanks for your help. I couldn't make this house without you. Goodbye for now. My dear friend. <laughs> what are... There's something <laughs> I thought there was going to be a dark ending to it. I had a feeling something creepy is going to happen, but I think it was just an overwhelmingly positive game. The man was happy that you would punch the house, the trees down to make his house. Chocolate chimney from one tree. It was a beautiful chimney. The spinach, cabbage bushes, and the, uh, the chocolate chimney were wonderful creature, wonderful features of the game. Yeah, thank you, Colso. I, I, a little booty told me you played through some of the games. I didn't even know. You should let us know when you do it next time, and I'll post it in the Discord. Very happy to promote people uh, playing games from the from the jam. It was really successful. I'm so very happy with 44 entries. So, uh, kind of like a Jenga setup. Oh, the the board game we're talking about. Yeah, that that makes sense. That'd be cool. So you've got to like knock out the chunks, I guess, right? Without it falling over, maybe? But let's give some feedback on this game, shall we? So, uh, in terms of the pacifist theme, there was punching, but it was really nice, and it wasn't about violence. It's just you were punching out a tree instead of chopping it. So I'm not going to dock it too harshly. The fun element of it was impacted a little bit by the fact that the controls were a little bit loose. But the fun comes from the challenge as well, and it did feel quite challenging. There was more than one level type as well. So I think they've, they've done quite good here. I'm, if I could go three and a half, I would. Uh, originality here. I've not played another game like it. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to give them five. Stuff it. Uh, just the... It was all so bizarre. <laughs> uh, did they do the art? But they didn't do the sound. Okay, cool. So... The art, they put a lot of effort in. It was a bit messy, let's be fair. So I'm going to go for three there. But it was great that they did it all. Um, so I'll write a comment on that. And then uh, we'll do three on the audio because they didn't provide any. So, um, what an original experience. <laughs> I was worried something bad was going to happen to the person I was building a house for. But in the end, it was a happy ending. Uh, we can say that uh, the mechanic was cool, uh, and I like how you had different level types to vary the gameplay. My only critique uh, would be that sometimes uh, 
the controls felt inconsistent. Uh, for example, uh, I would click to punch, then press A to move, but it wouldn't move sometimes and I'd end up taking damage. Um, the art uh, really um, fit together well, but mindful of uh, how some colors are difficult to read when layered together, layered on top of one another. Thanks a lot for the fun wholesome game. <laughs> Pow! Right in the kisser. We did it. Okay. I'm a cute little character though. Uh, was there any info about this game? Explore a quiet peaceful day after all the violence you've experienced in other games. You're a good student on summer break. Take your time and take it easy. Peaceful play, uh, Peacefully play mini games to pass the time in summer break. Ah, oh, that's a nice set, isn't it? All right, let's just chill out. I'd like to walk a little slower if I'm chilling out, but oh, look at this tree. Look how nice the leaves are. Huh? Should, can we go in here? Oh, little sound. Okay, we're in a nice little house now. What have we got here? Look at this Picasso picture. No, it's not Picasso. I remember my mum did a piece like that in that style. What's this? Is it fatigue, dread, intelligence. What was it? Oh, I worked. I shouldn't be working. We're on summer break. All right, we need to do more relaxing stuff. There's nothing in the fridge. The sounds are good, though. Can we snack? Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's just a mini game. Okay, let's match the melons. Oh, what an amazing little mini game. I love this. It's so simple, but I, like, I, I instantly know what to do. And there's such a range of... Uh, food pieces that I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm struggling. Okay, you. Uh, shrimpy. Oh, struggling. Carrots. Pretzels. Uh, rib, mm, uh, bread. Cookie. Pizza. Cherry, cherry. Pit, pit. Rice bowl. Is that? No, it's not. Uh, what about these? No, different colored bowl. Ah, lolly, lolly. Green bowl, green bowl. Prawn, prawn. Pineapple, pineapple. Uh, uh, egg, egg. No, can't see another egg. Tomato, that doesn't go. Uh, pineapple over here. Uh, okay, I got 13. I got 13, that was good. Okay, cool. I like the snack game. <laughs> it is what I sound like in a buffet, well said. Softer Mints has actually seen that. I like all the, the art as it's. I know they're from a website, but still. Oh, there's a nice little game we can play. Snake. Was, okay, I like the idea, like mini games. I like how you walk around this environment to play them. Okay, uh, S to start. Ooh, feels like it's not quite a grid. Or maybe it's just the apple that you eat isn't on the grid. Yeah, the movement is on the grid, but the apple's a bit off. It's probably just the anchoring of the, the asset, it's not a problem. It means that you can get it on more paths. The noise is a little repetitive for this one. Uh oh. Can we go off the edge of the screen? You can, right? Okay, we thought we could we thought we could. We couldn't. At least we didn't test it too late. Yeah, it just a, needed a, a bit more of a subtle noise for collecting the apple. Oh crikey, that was close. Like me some snake. I worry we could go for quite a while, but saying that I'm going to mess up because I've just said it, right? Uh, let's 
go up. Ooh. Okay, we got this, we got this. No! I didn't even get to see my score because I accidentally started another game. They couldn't have used the click notes. They could have. They could have. All right. Well, we've had our fun on that game. Let's walk around and see what else we can do. Can we chat on the sofa? We... Oh, we can flush the toilet. Why not? Did it do anything or is that just... Oh, it's just fun. What if I flush it multiple times? Come on. No? Three times the lady. Hey, you know. Okay. It sounds like aircon. That's a really cool animation they've done on that. I know it's going back and forth like that. I think it's fun. We can browse the books. Oh, we're reading. Look at the intelligence goes up. This feels like a game that's been made by someone who is a good student, who enjoys a nice summer vacation of relaxing and not just tr spending all their day on video games. Uh, okay, uh, let's go back out then. Is there more we can explore? Oh no, I wanted to explore more. Let's just double check that there's not another, another place we can go. No, I wanted to have another, another location to hang out at. It was fun though. I think I think the way they've presented it is really cool. Uh, it doesn't seem to be another way out, so I think we're just gonna have to just make sure we can't sleep or something, right? No, there's no stairs up. All right, well we're gonna finish with one more game of fruit. Is there still nothing in the fridge? Yeah, you can imagine that they they plan to maybe have a few more mini games, but based on time. Okay, let's go. Uh, we are going to start with green bottles. Broccoli. Uh, rib thing. Egg thing. Uh, apple. Melons. Uh, double pretzel. Actually, I don't, I don't think we have two of those. Uh, chili, we do. Burger, there's a wrap. Yeah, let's go burrito. The cola, the double pretzel, the bread combo. Oh, we're, we're hitting the combos now. Uh, these are slightly different. Bread roll. Um, pizza, I swear I've seen pizza somewhere. I've lost it though. Single pretzel, it's quite a distinctive shape, no. Banana, okay, we got these like corn dogs or something. No, did I run out of time again? Blueberries, there were so many blueberries. Oh my gosh, they were, how did I miss those? Ah, oh, that is disappointing. Well, 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 that was a nice game though, really chilled. Let's give some feedback to that game. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I know those games are great for stream because you, I'm missing them and you guys can just see them, obviously. It's frustrating. Really nice for the pacifist game, I think. I think it's pretty fun with the different games. They're relatively simple. Um, the originality, the games, I guess, the idea was original, but the games were not like remakes of things that we'd seen before. They didn't make the music or assets, so we'll just... But good use of sound, anyway. Um... Really nice uh, idea. I like the concept uh, of just hanging out at a nice location and keeping yourself busy and relaxing. Um, I was hoping I could leave the area and find another building after enjoying the first building. Uh, the matching game was uh, surprisingly really engaging. You chose a good asset pack for the art. Also, great job uh, choosing sound effects. And uh, they fitted really well. Uh, the snake game uh, was uh, fine too. 
The only downside was the new the noise each time you selected you collected. An apple was a little too harsh. Something a lot more subtle uh, would benefit if you ever do something like that again. Mm. Would have been better. Uh, really nice uh, game. Thanks for taking part in the jam, and I'm glad you you enjoyed the more relaxed paced nature of it. Okay. Lovely. Oh. Okay, inspired by true events, you have to navigate a small map on a particularly hot day whilst avoiding direct exposure to sunlight in order to keep your energy bar at an acceptable level. In other words, do not pass out in any circumstances. Unfortunately, all we managed to finish was the first level. We think the base mechanics are important to polish uh, uh, rather than having an infinite amount of barely playable levels. Cool. Uh, agreed. That's a, a good way to approach it. Also, due to a small bug, game volume can only be changed within the executable version. That's not a problem. Okay. Whilst escape... Uh, those convenient blue barrels are movable and provide shelter. Wonderful. Let's check this out. Is there a full screen option? Yes, there is. Uh, although it might be really loud. Okay, there I am. Oh, did I die already? Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Phew, they truly didn't lie on today's weather report. So do I only go down... My legs are in the sun, they'll get tired. Oh, it's because I was in the sun. I need to be in the shade, right? But what's that saying? There's no such thing as wrong weather, but surely there's a wrong outfit. I am wearing a coat and jeans in this. Okay, so, yeah, you can see the meter at the top is my exhaustion. Ah, I feel so refreshed. Okay, that's fine. Try it today. Can we go in the store? No, blue barrels. So they can be pushed. Oh, there's an ice cream store over here. Yeah, you go, you sweat when you're out in the sun. I like that. Try to avoid the sun straight to sun. Look, I saw the ice lolly and I just went for it. It's a good game design in a way because it made you go take the straight path there, fail, and then you go, oh yeah, the mechanic. So I think that's good. Right, can I go in the ice cream shop? Is that the goal? Oh, I did complete the level. Yay! So I think it's just the one level they said, right? But that's pretty awesome, right? Uh, uh, one, did they do the assets? Because the assets are great. Uh, let's uh, have a look through here. They did do all the art. Good on them. They did all the code. They did... Uh, oh, I'm not hearing any audio. We probably turned it down a bit, right? Right there. I didn't hear any audio. I like how there's a bit of story, but yeah, the, the art assets are good. The mechanic is nice, so basically, I can do around one, two, one, two, one, two, around eight steps, I think. Oh no. Oh no, shh. Okay. Yeah, as they said, they preferred to get the mechanics working on one level to get the intent across rather than do a bunch of levels, and I think that's very respectable. So, how many steps does it take if I'm in the sun? One, two, Three. Oh yeah, wow. I sweat everywhere. You can do four steps. Uh, I thought you, that you said the audio can only be changed in the... Okay, I might give him a, a, a mini rate in then, based on that. Okay, there we go. We can get out ice lolly now. Can we get into the ocean? No! I really wanted to go in. <laughs> and the thing is, now, now look, I think the mechanic might be a little broke. I'm sweating, but... I feel here I sweat loads, right? Oh, crikey. Let's try that again. Yeah, it could be uh, soft mints. So see how low I, it goes. But if I go up and get it, then I can move around quite a lot in the sun. I think they've made it so it just gives you a set amount and you go over the cap maybe. I don't know how they did it actually. It might crash again. Yeah, I think every third time it crashes. Because ice calls you from the outside. Thank you for explaining Doppler Uno from the inside. All right, let's go. 
Push the barrel. Uh, hang on, so I can sit here because it's in the shade as well. That's nice, eh? Alternative route to success. <laughs> we use the barrel. That's cool. I like it. I like it. I wonder how they must do that in a way. So tile based. And each tile has a value by default. But then there's a dynamic shadow value that could be put on the grid as well, probably. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Okay, cool. Well, we, we checked it out. Let's go and give some feedback on that game, shall we? So, Pacifist theme, yeah, completely on point. Uh, the fun, it was puzzly, right? It wasn't, because of the lack of content, it wasn't the most uh, fun overall, right? Uh, the original anthem was pretty high, though. I like the idea of staying in the shade. There are some games where you've got to stay in the shade, so it's not completely original, but I liked, I did like the idea that, you know, movement costs more when you're in the sun. Uh, the visuals are really good. I feel close to giving them five for it. Because it's, it's a lot of detail. But the, the shame is it's just... Ah, oh, stuff it. I'm going to... I think it's really good pixel art. The, the, there's not that much animation and there's not more than one scene. But it's a really nice piece. So I, I'd like to give them four and a half. I'm still unsure about giving them five. Four. All right, I've changed my mind. The audio, I can't really rate because of the... But I can't save if I don't. So, uh, because it didn't work, we'll just go... We'll give them one more than the norm, I think. Uh, cool, let's say... Uh, yeah, is this game... Kind of like a turn-based uh, strategy... strategy. Well, the turn based strategies. Uh, the uh, kind of like grid movement mechanic mixed in with a variable rate of expending your stamina or energy was a fun mechanic. Uh, I really respect uh, the intention of finishing one level to a high standard rather than have uh, 10 levels which barely work so good decision there uh, the visuals were fab nice cohesive cohesive um, pixel art and a nice and a good style uh, be, would be great to have a little animation to bring the scene to life just a tad uh, the barrel mechanic uh, mechanic was cool uh, was good as well I can imagine some interesting puzzle design uh, with barrels and perhaps the sun changing position midway through a level thanks for taking part you can jump and we hope to see you again